I had no idea I was going to want to go back. Uh, for a long time, I had other movies I went on to do. I thought the film was kind of done. And then about 2011, I had to watch the film again. For I hadn't seen it in a long time. And I walked out of the theater worried about Dory. I realized she wasn't finished yet. She could forget Marlon and Nemo and get lost again. She didn't know where she was from. I, I, I had not finished the job. I, you know, we've been kind of holding a secret for so long. We kind of put our heads down and we're not allowed to talk about these movies and it takes take four years. And then we kind of right at the end get to kind of look up and then it's like this incredibly like exciting moment to be able to now talk about it and show it to the world. So we couldn't be happier. tonight to see Finding Dory and there's a lot of comments online that this is one of the best films as regards to narratives for people with disabilities ever because of the character of Dory and I think in stories like that it's really important that they're told so that people in the audience feel representative and so that we change language society and conversations that we have about people of difference regardless of what it is so I'm really looking forward to seeing it and I think it's essential. It was really good. It was yeah, actually really I thought good. It, was, it was one of the, it's actually one of my favourite Pixar films. Yeah. yeah. The thing that struck me was there was a load of kids in there. You could hear the pin drop. It was absolute. That's the way to get young people involved. Get them in to see something. Do beautiful storytelling, beautiful visuals, and they will reward you. Good storytelling is what it's all about.